Hello everyone, welcome to Tim Reviews Everything. Today I'm actually gonna be reviewing another YouTuber. Uh, I wanted to build cornhole boards and uh, I went and watched numerous videos and I found DIY Pete's uh, tutorial, the best way to do it. He gave a step-by-step, -step, you know, with measurements and everything and I really appreciated it so I figured I'd give him a good review here. Uh, I am not a builder by any means. This is my first time really building anything. So this, I used all Ryobi tools doing this, which I'm gonna be reviewing those in later videos. Uh, but for today, DIY Pete, uh, like I said, I one thing uh, I did not, I used the jigsaw to cut out the, uh, I haven't, haven't used a jigsaw since eighth grade wood shop. So my holes aren't exactly round, but they're good enough. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way these turned out. I, I did spray paint them. He does spray paint them in his videos, but he recommends paint brushing and I should have listened to him because I would definitely use paint brush the next time I go to do these if I do them again. Uh, not the greatest paint job on here, but I'm happy. Uh, here, come closer. I put uh, paint it on. I used clear coat. I had sanded down the clear coat, put another uh, thing of clear coat on. Uh, that, I might actually be good. Uh, I do not recommend when you're taping this off to use the blue painters tape. Uh, I didn't know about frog tape until afterwards. Someone told me about it, but when I had the blue painters tape on here to paint this triangle, when I took it off, it ruined my surface and I had to re-sand it again. So, all right, yeah. So stay away from the blues painters, uh, blue painters tape, and go to that frog tape. I've never used the frog tape, but I heard that's what you want to use. If you walk around the back here, uh, he also has cup holders built into the back. Once again, not perfect circles, but uh, these are good enough for my beer cans uh, and pop. But I, he has it in the plan to be a little higher, and then he has this cut out for bottles. I did not do that, and I lowered this so I could put like uh, energy drink cans in there and taller beer cans. Uh, with it higher, I wasn't able to fit the other cans in there, so I actually lowered this a little bit than what he had it in the plans. Uh, but you pick these up, and these fold down. They fold right in there. I mean, once again, I'm not a builder, not perfect, but they worked out pretty well. I like them. And they're light. He uses one by four wood. One by four wood. And uh, and I bought this already pre-cut, the uh, the plywood. I was about $40 into lumber, and I'm sorry, 60. I was $60 into the lumber, and I was $40 into the hardware and the spray cans and spray paint and the clear coat. Uh, so like I said, DIY Pete, uh, very good uh, video to go watch if you're thinking about making your own cornhole boards. Uh, I'm actually gonna leave the link to his video down in the uh, description below. Uh, guys, once again, I'm gonna review everything I possibly could think of on here. Great way to make your own boards. Uh, very easy, it was not hard at all. And like I said, I am not by any means a builder. Uh, so guys, you know subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be reviewing something every day for the first 12 days here This is day two uh, And I'm just going to keep going with this after that I'll review every week So subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow